Hey, um, just want to walk through a few of the things I did today. Um, so, and I've merged this with your changes as well. Um, but as you see, now we have a lot of pages here, but it's, you know, um, the side panel is supposed to scroll independently. And even in a small wiki with very few pages, if this page here is long, then it just kind of keeps going. So uh, we should try to fix that. Um, I added, uh, you can double click to edit the page. Now, that's nice. Um, you can also, uh, there's some keyboard shortcuts. I haven't documented them anywhere other than the code, but I can do control S to save. Uh, however, that doesn't work if I have the cursor inside um, Quill. So I think I, I, I'll add that separately to, to Quill through the wiki context, um, just as a, as a nice little thing. Um, you can also control E to edit, and that'll always work. Um, you can create a new page. So uh, we have this button here, but we also have this um, little modal, which looks pretty bad, but it works. And the idea was that you should be able to just uh, type something, press enter, and have a new page. And uh, it opens automatically in edit mode, um, just using this little parameter here. Um, ideally, my focus should be there as well. This thing is stealing focus, which it shouldn't be, but I'll, yeah, whatever. We'll fix that. Um, so that's good. Um, now, so yeah, so you can uh, either hit control N or click with this button. Um, so here we can use a frog activity type. Um, now I, I, I want to fix the sizing of this, this, this model. Um, I should have been easy, but somehow it's not quite working, but it should be easy to fix. Um, and so you can keep configuring it here. If I try to create now, it'll, you know, the error messages will work. And if I create now, it'll work. Um, of course, <laughs> as you see, there are some CSS issues here. Um, not the nicest experience, but yeah. Um, so we can, um, uh, we can also have some of these, uh, so if I just do an idea, then it just, yeah, uh, works like this. Um, but if I do something that requires an upload, like an image, um, it'll actually show it here. And um, you see that I'm not able to submit from here anymore. Um, what happens is if I do it with a name, it'll submit directly. But if I do it, and I, for example, don't have a name or the name has already been taken like this, uh, and I try to use an image, then it'll actually store that learning item. It will give me the error message. So here's, I'm going to change the name, and it'll still let me create. So I think that's kind of nice. And the final thing um, is the frog activity. Sorry, I, did, I already showed you that. Okay, so that works as well. Um, the other thing I did was the search, which is, I think, pretty cool. So there's two ways of searching. Uh, one is um, you can type here. So I can do a, f yeah, and you see it filters. This is basically using the same system as um, what we're using for the activity side panel. And, but what's cool is that you can just hit down. And because I really like not using the keyboard when I don't have to, I can just press enter and I go there. Um, or what I can also do is I can say, you know, I want to know if there's something about Italy. And there's no page about Italy, but if I now hit enter, it'll send me straight into the dashboard um, with the, the search filled out, and we'll see, oh, here's an article that, yeah. So this isn't, the experience isn't perfect. The dashboard, it wasn't really designed for this. And, you know, here it would have been cool if we did like a search equal Italy, and then this thing could highlight and stuff. So, you know, but still not bad. Um, you can also do control F, which is the same component. Uh, so I can do about this wiki and jump there, or I can do, um, you know, Italy and go there. So same thing. Um, it's possible that we don't need that model at all. I actually kind of created the model first and then I reused the component here. Um, on the other hand, uh, we might want to hide this sidebar at some point. I might want to actually put two pages next to each other. So, you know, it doesn't hurt. Let's just keep it for now. Um, there's actually, it's the same component, so they're not wasting a lot of code. Um, 
yeah, so that's basically what I did. Uh, the one thing I think the next step, so first of all, fixing. So the fine thing is actually working pretty well with the sizing, as you see here. It was really wonky, but it's looking pretty good now. And um, should be easy to do the same thing for the create. Um, but what I think is that we'll unify. So first of all, this thing doesn't look good. I don't like the look of it. Um, but secondly, to put both the frog activity types and the templates in the same list and then just have different stuff shown depending on which one you chose because it's already doing conditionals based on you know whether it's uh, you know an idea kind of learning item or a file kind of learning item so it could do the same thing where it's like oh this is an activity i have to now show the activity config um, and then what we'll do is we'll just have the top um, however many will be kind of hard-coded to be the ones that we think are most common. And then we'll just have the whole list that, down here because if someone wants to insert some melting chocolate simulation, you know, it should they should be able to do so. Um, yeah, that's it. Coming along, very exciting.